Math 31, welcome to example 10. We're going to look at how we can solve this type of logarithmic equation graphically. We did this with exponential equations as well, but now we're going to try it with logarithmic equations and we're going to round our answer to the nearest thousandth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our y equals, clear out whatever I had before. I'm going to put the left expression or the expression in the left side of my equation into y1. And I will put the expression on the right side of my equation into y2. Alright, and once you have those two expressions entered into your calculator, what we would like to do, if, if we want to see where these two functions are equal, we want to see where they intersect in terms of their graph. So let's hit zoom 6 and see if they intersect. They might, they might not. Oh, they do. Okay, so I can kind of see the intersection here. Now again, your calculator really struggles with graphing logarithms. So this logarithmic function is actually still headed up this way. Or really, I guess it's coming down as you move left to right. But I can see that intersection value. To me, it looks like it has an x-coordinate slightly less than 1. I don't know, maybe around 1 half if I'm looking at it. But let's go ahead and, and use our calculator to find that, that y value or excuse me, that x value. So let's hit second and trace, and we want option five. Now you can scroll down to five and hit enter, or I'm lazy, I'm just gonna hit the button five. I know it's off screen, but I'll show you, I'm just gonna hit five, okay? And then it takes me to that same screen. Now, it, your calculator will prompt you, which curves do you want? We only have two curves right now. We only have something in Y1 and Y2, so your calculator will reference that. Would you like one of the curves to be y1? I'll hit enter, yes. Would you like the other curve to be y2? Sure, That's the. those are the two I'm interested in. And then I'm having trouble, I don't know if it will be the same on your calculator. I don't know if you know, so I'm gonna hit enter and I want you to see that it keeps prompting me with my second curve. And so the reason why is because I'm not in the domain of this function yet. The domain of this function is x has to be greater than zero and it's holding tight at x equaling zero. So my calculator is saying, hey, I, I can't even recognize that function. So if I want to hop on the domain, I just need to go a little bit to the right, and then I'm good to go. I'll hit enter through there. Now, I wanted to guess. I'll, you can either hit guess. I'm sorry. You can hit enter, or you can type in your guess. I just feel like typing in my guess today at 0.5. And when I get out of this, I wasn't too far off, right? There's my, my intersection at 0.5283. All right, and I put all of those screenshots in there for you. So once you get through this, all right, if I hit, if I highlight that, this asks me to go to the nearest thousandth. If I'm going to the nearest thousandth, that means I need three decimal places. So I'm gonna go five, two, eight. When I look one to the right, that's a three. So that's gonna tell me to hold tight at the eight. I don't want to round up. So my end answer here is X is equal to 0.528. All right, so with all of that, in our last example, we're gonna go backwards. I'm going to give you the graph of a function and ask you to come up with the equation. All right, so with that, I will see you in a bit. Bye.